breaker when it comes to her craft. That's Lindy Bear Subtle now. Although many still recognize her as Felicia Mabuza Subtle's daughter, she refuses to shine in her mother's spotlight and use her music to prove just how innovative she is. At last year's Cape Town International Jazz Festival, she moved audiences when she showcased tracks from her upcoming album titled Kamikaze Art. She joins me now. Good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Nice to be back. Let's get the surname out of the way. A lot of people know the surname. It's been on South African television. But that hasn't really worked for you because your mom's not a singer, is she? No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not Mabuza Subtle, so yeah, it doesn't really work. Talk to me about the fact that you've got that world experience. You've lived between two countries. You've traveled the continents. How does that impact on your music? Um, I think it really kind of makes me genreless to be honest. I grew up listening to so many different aspects. I mean, my dad brought in the Motown music soul side. My mom brought in Brenda Fossey, Mary Makeba. You know, I started hanging around friends that were listening to rock music. So you can hear it in my album, Kamikaze Art. It's just a fusion of just different sounds, you know? Ultimately the artists don't want to be pigeonholed. They don't want to put it in a box, but how would you describe the sound for somebody who's hearing this for the first time this morning? I would say we, we took a huge fusion. Um, the album has been worked on for three years, to be very honest. So it started very electronic because I was working on the album in Berlin in 2010. Then we brought in a rock element. And then, to be very honest, I kind of felt like I was in a box in this electronic. And my voice is very soulful. So we started working with a lot of um, artists here and producers to bring in some of like an, a more African element and more real instruments, real bass, real guitar were added. So, yeah, it's just a fusion, like I said. Kamikaze art, are we talking about love? Are we talking... What kind of issues are we talking about? Are we talking about a young artist? What are we talking about? Kamikaze art, I call the album that because I really feel, you know, a kamikaze person was the, per the suicide, suicide bombers. I really feel like this album I've given everything and it's like a very open and honest album. I talk about political corruption. I talk about greed. I talk about the internal struggle of good and bad. I talk about my ex-boyfriend, dog him, you know. Uh, there's many different subjects. I talk about my first love, which is the song I'm going to sing, um, A Thousand Miles Next. When can we expect the album in stores? I know it's on MTV at the moment. Yes, uh, I signed a, de a record deal in Europe. I've been um, in Europe since April promoting the album. And um, it's coming out towards the end of the year. We're going to leave it there, but we've got more coming up on Channel 404. Right now we say goodbye to um, our viewers on SABC.